Hi, and welcome to this course on how to start programming. I'm a full stack software engineer and my goal is to get you up and running writing code. I'm going to assume that you have little to no prior knowledge when it comes to programming. So therefore, that's how I'll be structuring the videos. Why C Sharp? It is one of the most popular programming languages in the world. It is easy to learn and simple to use. It has huge community support. C Sharp is an object oriented language which gives a clear structure to programs and allows code to be reused, lowering development costs. As C Sharp is close to C, C++ and Java, it makes it easy for programmers to switch to C Sharp or vice versa. What is C Sharp used for? Mobile applications, desktop applications, web applications, web services, websites, games, VR, database applications, and much, much more. Let's start by installing an IDE, which stands for Integrated Development Environment, so that we can start writing and compiling our code. When it comes to installing an IDE, there are a few options you can opt for. Either Visual Studio, which would be the most popular one, Rider or Visual Studio Code. I would highly recommend that you use Visual Studio because it's going to make things a lot easier. So head over to this website, like will be in the description and download the community version. It's free and you can go ahead and just save the file. So when you run the installer, it's gonna look something like this. As you can see, there's a whole lot of components that you can use. For instance, if you're developing games for Unity, you can install that one as well. We're not going to need it for this series right now. So in order to make things installed really quick, let's go ahead and choose the .NET Desktop Development. So we're going to select that one and click Install. Once it's done installing, it might ask you if you want to log in. If that's the case, you don't have to log in and you should be able to skip that step. Otherwise, it should bring you to this window right here. What we're going to do from here is we're going to click create a new project. Here we'll be able to see all the different project types. We want a console app and make sure to select the one that says .NET Framework and has the C Sharp tag. So this one right here. Clicking next, we want to give it a name. For the sake of this series, I'm going to name my project Learn Programming, but you can name it whatever you want. Try not to have any white spaces in the name. That's going to make things a lot easier, trust me. And then everything else here is fine. Click create and it should bring this window up. Now, all of this might look super scary. I know that it did for me the first time I did it, but trust me, I promise you it's really not that scary. All right, and that's it for setting up Visual Studio. Congratulations, you're doing great. In the next episode, we're going to be looking at comments.